Hi, Kerry here, um, host of Best of Us Investors. This morning I was watching Squawk Box and they were interviewing the CEO of Chevron, I believe it was, and uh, he made a statement that kind of set me back. I didn't realize he, he made the statement that uh, the Russia is the second largest producer of gas and oil carbon products is what he called it. In, in the world, and I guess I thought Saudi Arabia was, but uh, he, he confirmed something that Bob, Bob is, uh, 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 lives in Ireland, and he has told us how the prices of oil and gas and everything has gone through the roof over there, and it's because uh, they get all of their oil and, and gas from Russia. And I guess I didn't realize that. And he, he went on to say, yeah, Europe is basically dependent on Russia for, uh, for their oil. And he said if the one that is really dependent is Germany. And I didn't know these things. You know, it's, we live in a world here in the United States that we think is all encompassing. And our news tells us everything that we need to know. And they're totally honest with us. But there's a lot we don't know. And um, these are some enlightening things to me. And so it, it brought Vladimir's name back into my, my mind. And I had read something just recently that, um, about Vladimir that, that, I, that I thought was very pertinent to today's stock market. And that was on June the 15th, uh, 2017, Vladimir, I believe he was in front of a bunch of college students uh, for their graduation. He made the statement, um, the nation that becomes the leader in AI will be the ruler of the world. That's a pretty profound statement. And it was made in 2017. And here we are in 2022. And what Vladimir is saying is becoming true. And it's becoming so evident that I think we as investors need to take an opportunity of discounted prices on those stocks that are going to facilitate the ruler of the world. So what I decided I wanted to do in this video is take a look at just exactly who are the companies that are going to facilitate, if it's in the United States, which I hope it is, becoming the ruler of the world by controlling AI and big data. And that's what we're going to do in this video as soon as I just share with you. I'm not, this is not financial advice. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, so who are the biggest companies in AI. Well, I went and looked and they, they gave me number five as Oracle, uh, number four as Salesforce, number three, uh, Amazon, and number two, Google, with number one being Microsoft. Okay. And so those are the people who are the biggest players in big data. Okay. So who are then the biggest players in uh, AI, those companies that are going to help facilitate uh, artificial intelligence. And again, now they give me number four is Amazon. And I think why they said Amazon there is they are the users of, the, of big data um, in artificial intelligence. Then they say Micron, which is a chip company. Then they say IBM. Uh, I have virtually forgot about IBM, but I'm going to share something with you that I think is very interesting. And then they say NVIDIA. Now, I knew that, uh, and I would put AMD in there as well. But NVIDIA, as a result of their chip work in um, gaming, has, has, has had to increase the uh, speed in which their chips work to accommodate all the action and all the activity that happens inside of a game. And thus, that chip has now become the most coveted chip 
by the people who have the data, and that is Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. So I was aware of those things. And so then what I said I need to do is enlighten myself a little bit further because I think we are in the midst of a huge buying opportunity in the stock market, which has been facilitated by the um, the corona crisis, the and and, and the, the the relief packages, and and the, in the United States alone, nine trillion dollars from March, the end of March twenty uh, twenty till the end t- until today, we have put almost $10 trillion into the economy, and we put it in the hands of a lot of novice traders. And those traders, as they were making money through particularly 2020, they just kept leveraging up. In other words, the easy way to understand that is they bought Tesla at a, at a, a low price, and they, they put all their uh, $2,400 into Tesla. And as it went up, they borrowed against their holdings as it went up and up and up. And then as Tesla started to crash, um, it is since Thanksgiving, it's down, I'll show you, somewhere around 25%, they, they started getting margin calls. And as those margin calls came forward, they had to liquidate. As they liquidated, the tumbles continued. The, the easiest place to see that is in Kathy Wood's uh, Arc K package. It's down almost 60% since Thanksgiving. Well, why was that? Because again, people in their brokerage accounts held Arc K and they were highly leveraged. And they said, Kathy, I need to sell, I need to sell. Well, who's, who's the largest holder probably of Tesla in the world? It's Kathy. So she had to liquidate it, and that's what's caused this crash. Sure, it was brought on. The first drip was relative to interest rates and relative to inflation and relative to people not being able to work, which again created inflation, which created a push in interest rates. But what's really pushing this market down is the margin exposure created by the increased prices in stocks held by novice investors. So is that a long-term event? No. I mean, it's just like flushing a toilet. You flush it, once it once, the, once the poop's gone, it's done. And the toilet comes back to its normal level. Where well, are we there yet? No. No, we're not. No, we're not. You saw it Today is Friday. You saw it in the market. It opened up up because of Apple's wonderful quarter. But then it turned around and went down. Why? Why did it go up and then went down? Because they're, they're, as we went further into the trader day, more and more people were told, you're, you're, you, you're, you're, you've got to liquidate. This is a margin call. You either sell it by noon or we're selling it. And so the market started up on good news of Apple. And then the st- selling started hitting again and again, and it fell. Will this happen? Yeah, until the toilet is totally flushed. <laughs> if you don't understand it, go in and flush your toilet and see what happens. It has to be, the the, the poop has to be totally vacated. And that's what's happening. So let's look at my my computer screen because I want you to see the the bargains that are out there right now. And if you can muster up, and please do not go on margin to buy these stocks, but if you can muster up some cash right now, is at the bottom, I don't know. But please don't try to catch a falling knife. You're going to, you'll end up bleeding. Okay, let's look at the computer. Okay, we're back here in my psychiatrist's office, uh, my tradingviews.com. And as I said, Vladimir believes that the 
world is going to be ruled by whoever controls big data and whoever controls AI. So I have put a chart together again um, of the S&P 500, and I believe the market changed um, on uh, right after Thanksgiving. So that's kind of my start date, um, uh, November the 25th. And I'm comparing then the stocks that I believe are control or will control big data and artificial intelligence. And that's Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and I've thrown in IBM and a NVIDIA. Um, the data is owned, as I said, by Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Uh, the chip power is owned by NVIDIA. And I think uh, IBM is a sleeper uh, in that they, they, have, they have the, the quantum computing, uh, which is not really a today's technology, but I thought it was interesting to put them in here. And, and, and you can see here that the S&P 500 is that uh, red box and green box. And since Thanksgiving, uh, it's right now down about 7.93%. And you'll see that number changes because it's the, the trading views is an active chart at this point. Um, and then the, the biggest dip, and, and I believe the biggest bargain, uh, at down 32.58% at this minute, um, is NVIDIA, followed by Amazon down 22.24%, Google down 11.19%, Microsoft down 10.96%, and the S&P down 7.83%. And IBM actually up 20 or 13.88. I find that very fascinating. I, I, I need to understand why, in fact, uh, IBM is weathering this storm better than anybody else. Now, when I say this storm, I want to reiterate what I believe is happening is the market certainly did get scared as a result of uh, the threat of uh, rising interest rates. But I, th I believe that's really nonsense because I remember when I bought my first house back in, what, 80 or 66, I paid 14.5% interest, um, which tells me that the Fed rate was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 12%. Uh, historically, uh, the, the average interest rate is 8% and we're at 1.75 with the threat of going to 2.75. I don't see that is, although it's change and truly the market is driven by change. And then you have inflation and I think inflation is a factor of the coronavirus, uh, not a, uh, a screaming demand um, for, for uh, over demand for products because of liquidity and people are just rolling in money. No, I think it's just a shortage because our supply chain is broken. Um, it has nothing to do with the stock market in my estimation. So I'm looking at this and saying, this is a buying opportunity. What is according to this, the, the best buy right now? Well, it's NVIDIA, uh, followed by Amazon. I have bought uh, both of them uh, since Thanksgiving and will continue. And I also want to add, and I've bought Microsoft, and I want to add to my Google holdings. Will I buy into uh, IBM? I don't know right now. I don't know who the CEO of, um, of IBM, I, I I'm hung up that I believe IBM has lost its identity. Um, so and since, since they turned down Bill Gates with, with his offer for them to market his, um, his uh, operating system back in 19, I guess, 88. So I, th I don't think they've been on the, pa on the page for that long. But but that's, that's here and there. Uh, so this is what I'm interested in. And again, what spurred this was Vlad Vlad Vladimir Putin's statement on Janu June the 15th, 
2017 that the nation that uh, becomes the leader in AI will be the ruler of the world. That's Vladimir Putin's words speaking to a college graduation class, I believe it was, in Russia. And I think there's some guidance to be taken from that. I think there's then to add the words of, um, what is it, Xi Jinping, uh, the uh, emperor or ruler, the president or prime minister of China, that um, they intend to direct their research, their, um, their technology towards artificial intelligence. So to ignore that, and particularly in this buying opportunity that we're being presented, I, I think is just foolhardy. So this is my take. And this is where I'm going to invest. And let me share some, some other wisdom with you. Okay, I just again want to reiterate, this is an opportunity. Um, go to your, your trading views graphs. Go back to 1944 when I was born and look at the trajectory of any of the indices, whether it's the Dow, the, the NASDAQ, um, or the S&P, if, if you pull back into a monthly view, you're going to see it just goes up. Now, is the world going to change and it will go down and it will just keep going down until there's nothing left? No, no, that's not going to happen. It's because again, you got to recognize the world is changing. We, the world changes based upon events. And the biggest event in my 77 years happened in March of 2020. And that's the coronavirus. It is bigger than World War II. It is bigger than the Vietnam War because it affected everybody. And the world has sat down and said, this can never happen again. And what does that mean? That means we have to fix our healthcare system. We have to fix our supply chain. We have to bring the world back to where it works because right now it's not working. I can't go on a cruise. I can't get on a train. I can't, could, even if I wanted to get on a bus, oh my God, that might be the most dangerous place you could go to get on a Greyhound bus right now. So. Until we, once we get that corrected, these stocks are going to take off and, and our medical world is going to change. And if you are taking advantage right now, right this week on the sale that's going on, that has been created and understand it has been created by an imbalance of intelligence in investing. We had a lot of uh, novices who played around in AMC and, and GameStop. That's stupidity. Or, or, or chased Neo. Look what's happened to Neo. Okay, uh, uh, enough for today. Um, thank you for the support of the station. If you want to meet Bob from, from Ireland, who will tell you about uh, what's going on with Russia and the oil and the gas and what probably will happen there. Come come to our Discord. Come join our tribe. Don't know where that book is. Um, come to Best of Us Investors. We hold a Friday afternoon meeting, and Bob's always there, and he gives us some enlightenment, and, and we have some people from um, Malaysia, and uh, all in India and all over the world. So we get this knowledge that you aren't going to find in the Wall Street Journal and you aren't going to find it on Squawk Box. Talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs>